This is literally the saddest thing. Hello everyone, and welcome to Sunday. What you're looking at there is the recorded videos from uh, yesterday's Twitch stream. We streamed for 15 hours yesterday, we had a blast, we woke up today and felt like we had been hit by a train, as is typical if you stay up all day and stare at the screen. Um, but we had a lot of fun. Unfortunately, Twitch did not save all of our videos, which is terribly, terribly exciting. And uh, this was a little upsetting because every year we upload it to YouTube so you guys can see it. There, I mean, obviously, if you're streaming for 15 and a half hours, very few people can actually see the entire thing because they have other um, obligations to job or, or whatnot. And, um, or if they, you know, they watch some and they fall asleep, which is, is entirely possible. So it's nice to be able to upload it to YouTube so people can see um, either the stream itself or what they missed, etc. That can't happen this year because we literally only have half of it. We only have half of the stream and it's just because for whatever reason Twitch didn't save the stuff. So I was curious if maybe it was going to show up soon or whatnot. So I, I sent a message to Patrick Pico because he, he's on Twitch all the time. And I said, Patrick, you know, we're missing about half of this stuff. I've, it's, it's sometime after the stream now. Is it going to show up? He said, no. <laughs> he said, unfortunately, Twitch is just incredibly flaky when it comes to saving your stuff, and it's lost. And I was like, man, that sucks. I mean, for one, yeah, it, it sucks because what the heck, Twitch, save our stupid stuff. Like, what, what is the problem that you can't just save the stupid stream? Um, but number two, I could have recorded it. I could have recorded it locally. And uh, some of you might be saying, well, Stephen, why wouldn't you do that? And it's just because we've never needed to before. We've, this is the third year that we've done this. We've, uh, done, we did it in 2012 and 2013. Both of those years, we did 14 hours. And, we rec and Twitch had all 14 hours available. We didn't lose anything. And we were just able to get it off of Twitch, put it on YouTube, and be done. For whatever reason, this year, we lost half of it. And it's... I think the thing that's so upsetting is it's not just like you have the, the first half or the last half or anything like that. It's like you have an hour and then it's gone for a little bit and then you get like 30 minutes here and it's gone for a little bit. Then you have 30 minutes and it's gone. Then you have like four hours and it's gone. And it's like, what the heck? Like, it's not even like good chunks for people to understand what's, what's going on. We have one chunk that's four and a half hours and that's four and a half straight hours and that's good. And then a lot of the other stuff's just like little 30 minute blocks that are spread around and it's just really upsetting. And I'm, I'm mad at myself for not locally recording it. Although I also forgive myself because it's something I didn't think that we legitimately needed to do. And it's something I guess I know for next time. The reason I'm really, really upset is that uh, the last game of the evening was Final Fantasy 3, or well, Final Fantasy 6 uh, for the Super Nintendo. And, uh, at that point, we had played so long, and I was so exhausted that I, I became a little delirious and was rambling and things like that. And uh, I, I was not playing the game well at all, and I was fighting that first snail mini-boss that you fight. And uh, I, got, I got really upset because I wasn't focusing enough to beat the stupid thing. Because he goes in and out of his shell, and when he's in his shell, you can't attack him because it, like, kills you. So I was down to one party member, and I was like trying to fight this guy with one party member, and it was taking me forever, and I said, oh my god, like, this entire 45 minute session is just going to be me fighting this snail. I said, this is just going to become snail fantasy. And Josh, Josh Jepson, he was watching at the time, and he said, uh, he, he said he thought it was really funny, and he spelled snail, S-N-A-L-E. Mal read that, and started laughing hysterically that he, that he spelled snail with that spelling. And uh, she was crying laughing from just the everything going on because I was like, at this point I was so completely delirious. I was rambling and mumbling and things were really, really odd. And uh, Haley actually made a mock snail fantasy logo because she enjoyed it so much. Josh ended up calling, calling us during the stream and laughing super, super hard and Haley did as well and it was all based on this this snail stuff. Um, anyway, I say all that because it's sad. The 500 people that were watching the stream, they get to experience snail fantasy. No one else will ever get to experience snail fantasy. And I'm sure in, in the future we'll do more streams 
and uh, I guess push it as hard as we can and as far as we can to the point where I get to that delirious state because apparently it's massively entertaining. But um, that particular thing is gone. Someone even made a page on the wiki about it. There's a, there's a, there's a snail fantasy wiki page. And you can also see that uh, that mock logo there as well. But it's sad. It's, uh, it's, it's unfortunate. So, yeah, I'm a little mad at Twitch because what the heck, Twitch? Um, I've used... I've used YouTube live stuff just as much as I have the Twitch stuff, and I've never had a problem with YouTube. I also, I kind of like YouTube more, and this is another thing that I've been thinking about. Like, I kind of like YouTube more because when you're done, it's just available. Like, you finish your stream, and it's like, oh, you can watch it. I mean, that's really, that's, that's pretty convenient. Whereas with Twitch, uh, when it's done, you have to send it over to YouTube, and it takes a little bit longer. Um, so, I don't know. It, it does. YouTube doesn't have all of the same tools, unfortunately. Uh, but it might be something I look into more, or maybe in a year when we're looking at doing this stream again, maybe YouTube will have fleshed out some of their live stuff a little bit more. It might be a better, um, better scenario for for us. Anyway, it's unfortunate, but we do have half the stream, and we're going to get that up as soon as I can. Uh, and hopefully, you guys will get something out of it. And I sincerely apologize this happened. I mean, it. Um, uh, honestly, whenever I woke up and I, I realized what had happened and that it was not it was not going to come back, I had like a, a huge pit in my stomach because I know that there's so many people that want to see it, but it's gone, unfortunately. But there's half, and the half will be out as soon as we can. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry about what happened, but I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. We had a blast with it. Um, I mean, really, like, I loved the Earthbound streams, but this one, this one was good. I'm really looking forward to doing it again next year. Raising the goal just a little bit higher and uh, playing through N64 games. Should be a good time. Thanks again for watching and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? It's almost 1 in the morning and uh, we have far exceeded the goal. We're now at 114% of the goal. We've raised $5,152, which is very exciting. Um, Earthbound won. Earthbound had the most donations at any one time. That's not the thing I wanted. Alright, trying to catch this guy on fire. Now I'm on fire! Oh god! Now, quick. Coming. As fast as you can. I'm on fire. Oh, I burned up. I like how you're just fine suddenly. You're like, oh, I'm fine. That fire didn't even hurt at all. <laughs>